Hey everybody, welcome to my little video about my cleansing routine. Um, as a professional therapist, I am always, always banging on to people about how important cleansing is. And I know having worked closely alongside hairdressers for a long time, that caring for your hair really starts with a good shampoo and then moving on to conditioner and, and the way you treat it with heat and stuff. And it's no different with hair, with um, skin really important that you clean your skin properly. There's two steps to um, cleansing. We talk about double cleansing in the industry. Um, the first cleanse really is either makeup removal or just removal of pollution, dirt, grease, grime. You would be amazed um, how much is laid onto your skin just by everyday life. So a bit like if I always use the analogy with my clients that if you've got a kitchen table, you wipe the crumbs off first before you can really give it a good claim. So makeup removal. Now, um, I wear a lot of makeup generally. So I have a couple of different ways that I remove my makeup before I go on then to treat my skin with a cleanser. Um, micellar water. Love me some micellar water. Okay, I have looked at and tried all sorts of brands. It really is up to you what you choose to use. It might be a favourite brand that's brought out a micellar water. I love the Garnier. It's always on special offer in various different ways. You can see this one is nearly empty. That's because I use it all the time. In fact, when I just filmed my foundation video, I put my mineral makeup on and I wanted to then use a cream foundation, so micellar water on a cotton pad, boom, done. Um, this one is actually oil infused. Now I use this for my um, mascara, you know that Revlon mascara that I talked about, really good, long lasting, non-budge, waterproof mascara, does need a bit more help. And remember me saying that waxes are what they put into waterproof mascara to make them waterproof. Well, if you've got a wax, you need an oil to dissolve that wax. It's how we get wax off of carpets and things. So this one has got a little element of oil in there, still super sensitive, so you shake it up and then you can just place it onto the mascara. Don't rub, just place it, let those oils start to work through. So when do I use micellar water? I use micellar water if I want a quick change between makeup, say I've, I've had makeup on during the day, I'm not having a shower or something before I go out, I haven't got time, but I want to whip off my makeup um, and um, put on more makeup, then I would use micellar water. I use micellar water if I want to correct a mistake with my makeup on a cotton bud, it's brilliant. I use micellar water if I have problems with my hands, I've got if we now varnish as well today, I'm sorry. But um, if I don't necessarily want to use water to cleanse my face, if, if my eczema is playing up, then I will use micellar water on cotton pads. Sometimes if I'm just feeling a bit lazy, um, and I do, I'm not perfect. I know that I preach a perfect skincare routine, but every now and then I don't reach for wipes, don't like wipes. Generally wipes leave residue on the skin. Wipes make people think their skin is clean and then they don't then remove the residue. Wipes also can't be flushed. I don't know how many of them are biodegradable. Not a big fan of wipes. Would rather people had some micellar water and a cotton pad. Takes up much less space in the rubbish than a wipe and I think does a much more thorough job. So if I'm feeling a bit lazy and all I manage to do before I go to bed is take my makeup off, I would use micellar water. The technology with micellar water, it actually, as far I might be wrong, I haven't done my research, I will research and maybe do a comparison video with some different micellar waters. The, the micelles that are in there actually encapsulate the dirt and the grease and the grime and take it away from the skin. So it's really pulling the dirt and grease and grime and makeup off the skin. So micellar water. If I'm being good and I love the feeling of really, really clean skin, then I will use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, an oil-based balm. Um, one of the ones that I love using is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Now, this is not a cheap product. However, it lasts for months. I don't scrimp on my skincare. I don't have a massive budget like most people, but um, I will find a little bit of budget for my skincare. And I'm gonna talk about my skincare routine a bit more um, in, in other videos. This one has this lovely oil texture. This then, or a cleansing oil, there's um, L'Oreal do a nice cleansing oil. Um, I use one on my clients from Eve Taylor, which I love. Um, this cleansing oil 
you rub it between your hands, doesn't matter whether it's an oil or a balm, and then you just smooth it over the entire face, over the eyes, over the waterproof mascara, over everything. They usually have a lovely aromatherapy fragrance to them, natural oil fragrance, really lovely sensation. And then they emulsify, they are water soluble. Okay, so don't worry if you've got an oily skin, Cleansing oils are brilliant anyway. They have what they call a lipophilic action. So like attracts like. So the oil in your cleansing product will actually draw oil out of your skin. Um, if you have a dry skin, they will nourish. Um, I absolutely love them. And I have, as you've seen on my skin, spots and breakouts, can't have anything. I wouldn't just put artificial oils on my skin. These balms are lovely. So all over the skin, emulsify everything. And then I remove them with a hot cloth. Now, sometimes with Lizelle Hot Cloth Cleanser, another great cleanser, that one comes with a cloth, a, a, a muslin cloth. These I use are a pound in my local hard sh hardware shop for three, okay? This is what I use. You go to my bathroom and there are loads of these because I just pick them up every time I do my shopping. They wash beautifully, they dry really quickly. They, as long as you have microfiber, the technology of microfiber actually means that you can remove a lot of makeup even without product. I like to use product. The um, microfiber cloths are brilliant for um, removing fake tan. They're brilliant on face paint. I might even do a whole video on microfiber cleansing cloths, but don't pay a fortune for them. Online, you can have the cleansing cloth. Sometimes they're, they're made into a mitt. 10 quid, 15 quid three for a pound, love them to death. So I will, nice warm water to open up the pores and then I will, a couple of times under the cloth and I will remove that cleansing oil. So my table is clear of crumbs. Now I want to really hygienize the table. I want to treat the table. I want to properly cleanse the table. So I like multitasking products. So I've got a couple of cleansers that I really love using. Again, I don't like using cheap, very cheap cleansers on my skin. I would never pick up a 2 99 cleanser for my skin. I'll pick up a pound lipstick, not a problem, and give it a go. Not when it comes to cleansing. Um, a 2 99 product, there's going to be quite a lot of um, fillers in there, detergent, water, things that aren't actually working for your skin. So this one is from Gatineau. As you can see, it's been loved. Um, I will list it down below. This product is brilliant. It's got natural exfoliating ingredients, natural brightening ingredients, natural cleansing ingredients. Okay, so you're not just cleansing your skin, you're doing a micro exfoliation, a micro treatment, and I want products that are gonna do lots and lots for my skin. I do lots of masks and exfoliation treatments on my skin, but again, I'll keep those for another video. This one I love as well. This is something I've fallen in love with recently. Nura, this is a brand that I'm going to be stocking in my salon. A wonderful woman, um, very local to where I live in Honiton. Actually, um, I think it's less than 20 miles away. This is her own brand. It's incredible. She's got an amazing story about how she lived in South Africa and her skin got a lot of sun damage. So she's created a brand to really repair and slow down the signs of sun damage and aging on the skin. I love this cleanser, the Skin Radiance Cleansing Cream. It's got white willow bark in there and white willow bark is a natural source of salicylic acid. And if any of you watched my video about ingredients, I explained that salicylic acid cleanses your pores from the inside out. It's a very specific one, uh, one of the, the um, AHA group. So this one is giving you a gentle natural exfoliation every time you cleanse. Um, it's also soothing and calming the skin. It's got brightening agents. I absolutely love it. Um, so either of these, the way I use these is with a brush, a cleansing brush. What I do is I will actually, onto this damp brush, and I got this brush from Gatineau, but you can get them in super drug boots all over the place. Basically, the point that you want is a lot of bristles, okay? So they do the work. A pump onto the damp brush, and then across the skin. You don't need to use a lot of pressure. You're not scrubbing. All these little fibers here are doing the work. Okay, so I apply that all over the skin, nice gentle scrub, and then I will use my hot cloth to remove. Then I will go on with all the rest of my skincare, um, which I'll talk about in another video, my sort of night care, my night routine, my day routine. But the one thing that I always immediately do, regardless of what I'm gonna do with my skin, whether I go on to do a mask or an exfoliation treatment or just pop my moisturizer on and go to bed or 
do my makeup. Um, again, another find from Noura, this wonderful local lady to me. This is her Pure Nutri Balm. This I use on my lips. I use this on my nails. I use it on absolutely everything. Um, it's got a real cocktail of oils in there, starting with shea butter, beeswax, cocoa seed butter, castor seed oil, rice bran oil, coconut oil, rosehip, and all of these different oils really soften and nourish. So this one I recommend for lips, nails and everything. But this is the one thing that regardless of what I'm gonna do with my skin next, that's the next step. As Soon as I've cleansed my face, brushed my teeth, go on with this lip balm. So hopefully that's given you an idea of what I use. I'm always gonna be reviewing different products for different age groups, but I think it's just nice for you to see some of my favorites. So maybe I will do another video um, soon on um, treatments that I use on my skin at home. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon.